Welcome back to DevOps Camp. This is the next video of the Linux Systems Administration course. In this video I will show you how to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. Let's first boot up the VM. VirtualBox Guest Editions consists of device drivers and system applications that optimize the guest operating system for better performance and usability. The most important features are better mouse integration, full screen compatibility, shared folders and clipboard between the host and the guest operating systems. First, we need to install some dependencies required for the guest editions. Let's first open up a terminal. Now, to install dependencies, run the command sudo apt get install build essential gcc make perl dkms and press enter. Type Y and press enter to continue installation. It will take some time. Now that the installation of dependencies is completed, we need to mount the guest editions image. For that, click on devices in the top toolbar and select insert guest editions CD image. We can confirm the mount of the image using the CD image in the desktop. Next, we need to navigate to the mount directory using the terminal. For that type the command cd slash media slash your username, in my case, devops-camp. And then press tab key to auto-complete the rest. Then press enter. Now, to view the folder contains, type the command ls, which stands for list contents of the directory. We can see there are several files for Linux and Windows. Here we need to run vbox linux editions.run file. To run that file, enter the command sudo bash and then the file name. When you type part of the file name and press the tab key, the rest of the name will autocomplete. After the installation has finished, we need to reboot the virtual machine. For that, type the command, reboot and press enter. Then the VM will be rebooted. If you get an error like this without rebooting the VM. First, you will need to unmount the guest edition CD image. Then power off the VM manually and start it again. To unmount CD image, click on Devices, then Optical Drives, then select Remove Disk from Virtual Drive. Now, let's manually power off the VM and start again. Now, if your screen is not into full screen like this, don't worry. I will guide you through how to do it. First, click on view on the toolbar. Then, select full screen mode. Great. Now your graphics drivers are optimized. 
Now you can surf in your virtual machine like a normal computer. If you want to exit from full screen, take your mouse cursor to the middle in the bottom of your screen. Then a toolbar will pop up. In that, click on View, and then select Full Screen Mode again. Then, your VM will exit full screen. Now you can try playing with your virtual machine. That's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to DevOps Camp for more videos. Thank you for watching.